Have you seen the documentary Hidden Colors? No. By who? Uh, I want to say Tariq Nasheed. But it talks about how there's like African influences in Asia. Really? Uh -huh. I know. You know they are the ones promoting Asia at the moment, right? Who? African influences. Oh, is that a joke? No, no. Like most Africans oh. are in Asia right now. China, Japan. Oh, really? Making like crazy videos. Yeah, I've been speaking. It's blowing up. <laughs> it's been yeah. trending oh. like yeah. crazy. That's how Wadamaya started. Oh. So he started making videos in China and people were curious. Like we didn't know China was this beautiful. Oh. So everybody was just coming to China. Before he left to come do what he's doing, but others are doing it. It's blowing up. They understand the influencer market. They get paid. Here is like, yeah. If you think about it, it's good money, but they are not the people. They don't look like. You. Yeah. I lived there for. I lived in Asia for eight years. Oh wow. Which country? India, China. Okay. Four years in. Would you consider Dubai as a Yeah. Why you don't? A few months ago. It's okay. This way. Where? Right above Egypt. Okay. <laughs> Ask us that. Where is Dubai? Africa or? I have no idea, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe I was traveling to Nigeria, I was supposed to go with him, uh -huh. and I asked him, do you have a passport? Tell them what you want to say. I have no passport. Uh, how? How? Why? <laughs> so why do you need that one? <laughs> why do you need a passport? No, you probably asked him that. Yeah. Okay, I have five minutes to my class. No worries. The two minutes was kind of two Tell minutes in. Just that. Ten, Ten minutes ago. I'm just gonna go right here, do my class, and then. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch the ending. But it's good. Yo, your work? My class. That's it. See my mom. Don't worry, he's still setting up. I'll see ya. Alright. Hello, and welcome back again to another amazing vlog. And this is my vlogging channel. Today, we are filming something special for Web Nation Africa. I'm here with someone special who goes by the name of Greb. Greg, he's a CEO, uh, co-founder of, uh, listen, I'm not going to give you all the details. If you want to find out, go on Web Nation Africa to check it out. Amazing thing coming out. Yeah. You want to say something? Yes. <laughs> the motorcycle on the road, they have yeah. cutlass and they cut it. Yeah. And they turn into slippers. No, but even at the art center, like certain mm -hmm. sandals, if you look on the bottom, they're tires. Wow, that's where Balenciaga got ideas from. You know? yeah, yeah, they're they're stealing from us. They you always know? steal. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's not new. No. It's not new. <laughs> and it's so expensive. <laughs> it's so expensive, bro. Yeah. It's crazy. God, ah, it makes me tall. It looks like you can hike anywhere. Yeah. yeah. I can hike the uh, Mount Everest for this. <laughs> Just that, can we roll? They can. Ghana time, I'm sorry. Normally I'm time conscious, but. Just that. I'm used to So, this is how it's gonna be, right? I want us to kind of ease it in from like what triggered you moving to Ghana, mm -hmm. what you have going on, you know, yeah. before you, you came to. Mm -hmm. And then. We dive into your transition into it and even identify and find uh, one Africa and even the ideas coming up on okay. that. Um, how you funded, uh, how you founded the first, uh, what is the name? Your brand, the uh, Repair Nations. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. How it was funded, like founded, yeah. the story behind that. Um, and then, yeah, let's just talk about the. <laughs> Nitty gritty of thing, and I realized your dad suffered from, I think, some inequalities in, t in terms of his business had to die or something. I was reading something about that, okay. so probably we dive into it. Okay. And then I think one of the briefing is a lot of African Americans or even Dashwins in general moving down here and using the same white concept, taking advantage of the local business or whatever. Right. The locals is not getting the money; the ones you know, cashing out. Mm -hmm. And I see. You guys are coming in with something quite different yeah. where you make sure everything is you know 
equality. Mm. Everybody's smiling and not you just making the money. Yeah. You know? And then we dive into what what um, you're gonna do differently that will make one Africa become you know. Okay. You know? So yeah, we just go with the flow. But ultimately, by the end of the conversation, you'll be able to touch on it with all the. Sounds good. So if you have, if we finish and you think I left something out, just feel free to. Okay. One of the uniqueness about this channel is we don't write notes. Oh, so. No. Yeah, life's better. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it doesn't always have to be perfect. Yeah. It makes it feel like, very organic and people can relate to it. Um, and one thing is they become more interested in your personal story, right? And then when they are invested, anything else that you are you know, working on, they want to know more. So always feel free to like share a lot more about yourself. Basically, that's it. Okay. Sounds good. What's your earring? My earring. I'm not wearing earrings today. Okay. Today I'm serious. Today? <laughs> Tell them about the jacket. Uh huh. Tell them about the jacket. So my videographer literally had to force me to wear this jacket because it's too bright, and I I was basically white, right? So I had to wear this to kind of reduce that brightness a bit. And I'm I'm drenched in water or sweat, whatever you want. <laughs> uh, so this is uh, this is my vlogging channel. I want to be able to ask you, what do you think? your day-to-day -day life looks like from waking up in the morning um, has it been any different from your usual life in California oh it's way different it's way different I'm like seven hours ahead here okay so and I'm an early riser mm -hmm. so I'm usually waking up around like eight or nine doing some work eating some food taking a nap and then preparing for my next half of the day interesting, yeah. interesting. but if we're in California what time do you usually wake up at the same time? Or no, I would usually wake up around like six. Six in California. Uh -huh. Interesting. I mean, what well, do you have any culture shock so far here in Ghana? Um, Twelve seconds later. No. <laughs> okay. The the thing that's coming to mind is um, I was visiting Elmina. Mm -hmm. um, and learning or I discovered that a lot of the people like who live next to the beach just like go out and use the bathroom on the on the beach the or beach, on the yeah. rocks. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> no, no, it's not right. <laughs> the breeze from the ocean is uh, just <laughs> Yeah. And I've been told like no, they're fine, they don't want any public bathrooms, they they, they enjoy it. So it's just like, oh okay. How does that make you feel when you want to go to the ocean to swim? <laughs> I'm a, well, it makes me think like we, I need to make sure I'm not so close to that area just so like you know hopefully the water is chill. Interesting. Yeah. Um, how long have you been in Ghana so far? Uh, since uh, mid-October. Mid yeah. So Would after you? after our first trip which was like two weeks I stayed and started like doing the negotiations and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So is your team here with you or just me? Uh, it's just me for now mm -hmm. at the restaurant in California and then uh, the folks from the BB Contour are here. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, let's talk to me about a tour and this is a personal advice for me. Like I have a platform on YouTube. Uh -huh. I, I, I've interviewed over 150 diasporas. Oh, wow. Right? I know what you need to do if you want to succeed in business here in Africa as an, a diaspora. Uh -huh. And I want to be able to offer this knowledge to you. You know, the dash friends moving. I want to be able to do some tours, to take them to some places. What do you think I should do now that would help me be ready to serve this kind of market in the near future? Um, so, uh, another friend of mine is like uh, starting tours as well. Um, and I've recommended that he figure out how to get um, like personal recommendations. Mm -hmm. 
referrals. Um, yeah, because uh, word of mouth is the best form of advertising. Um, so if you're able to like give folks like on a kind of a small scale, like show them the benefits, and then have them help communicate, I think that would be helpful. Because uh, otherwise, you're kind of just like part of the noise. Like there's a lot of people. It's hard to know who to trust. Mm -hmm. So you have to stand out by yeah. providing the best experience. But you have to figure out how to build trust. Trust. Mm -hmm. Like, um, yeah, there's a lot of fear about being scammed. So like a lot of fear around that. Yeah. So how how do you how do you let people know that you're not going to scam them? Mm -hmm. Mostly by people that they know or trust saying like, hey, like I did it. It was great. Like mm -hmm. you should do. My name is Greg Jackson, co-founder of Repaired Nations um, Cooperative Inc. We believe in global liberation through Pan-African liberation. Um, our purpose is to uh, create a Pan-African network of support and resources that catalyzes the growth of cooperative ventures for a thriving and resilient future. Cooperative through and through, one fairness and equality. How do people find you? Uh, you can find me at, well, I don't have social media. You don't? Okay, so like my business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can find me at uh, Repair Nations. That Repair Nations on Instagram. Uh, yeah, that's where all the business stuff is. Uh, you'll learn about our uh, work-based learning program, our different ways to become a member, the different conferences and tours. All right, guys, be on the lookout for more vlogs coming your way. Uh, also, a day in the life of uh, diaspora living in Ghana. Like, share, subscribe. Sign up with my tour if you want to come to Ghana, have an amazing experience. Go to the local villages, immerse yourself into the local villages, cook with them, eat with them, learn how to wash clothes with your hands. Um, what should I call my tour company? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's coming soon. Stay tuned.